Chapter 4. The Power of the Mind Every problem we have ever encountered and the solutions we conjure is a product of our mind. Every thought and feeling, excitement and worry is our mind's product. It can be our confidant or our foe. It can be a ruthless master or a loyal slave. It is that powerful. The mind is brilliant and quite unexplainable. We can describe it as a pilot if we were to be a plane. This pilot is unique that words fail in describing its uniqueness. It discovers itself through research, finding and fixing flaws. As we cannot do without our minds, it is our responsibility to coexist, work with, and be in charge. It is normal to pay less attention to your thoughts. We all do so. These thoughts begin and get through our minds, never to come up again. We do forget that they even exist because they are immaterial. Hence, we underestimate their powerful effects on our lives. Nonetheless, the human mind is very potent, wielding a very strong power which is available for our use. Sad as it may be, most individuals are not aware of its power, and a large percentage of those who know about its effect simply choose to ignore it. The power possessed by the mind largely depends on our thoughts. These thoughts influence our lives to a very large extent. Our attitudes, beliefs, and mindset affect our behaviors and response to different situations. Our thoughts can be the difference between living an awesome life and a miserable one. An amazing life whereby we encounter challenges that teaches us vital lessons or one in which we are positioned against the world. This is purely based on the power of the mind, as two individuals might encounter the same experience but with different outcomes. The way they interpret and react to the situations determines the outcome. Understanding the power of the mind, knowing how to control it, and taking complete charge of it is essential in deciding the outcome of our lives. It will decide whether we end up happy or sad, with the challenges we face and find solutions to. We must bear this in mind. Also, to effect change on the world, we must change not only ourselves, but our thoughts. Why you need to take complete control of your mind. Whoever controls his mind controls his life. To implement worthwhile changes to your life, you must first take charge of the inner world. The challenges we encounter externally will rarely be altered except the internal ones are addressed. Looking through the society, we can observe a lot of individuals spiraling out of control. They seem to be clueless as to how they can control their lives. As a matter of fact, they have lost touch with their minds. It would not be out of place to ask such persons if they are out of their minds whenever they act without control. The blame game never seems to end as a result of lack of control. From the leaders at the top of the government to the everyday individuals on the street, everyone keeps passing the blame on to the next. No one ever wants to accept the responsibilities of the ongoing in their lives. The overall effect has been escalated from private lives to the world at large. No wonder the world is rumpled of a mess. Its institutions are messy, and their messiness keeps advancing at alarmingly high rates, as no one would step forward and take responsibility. Sadly, those that do come out are clueless as where to start implementing change from, and the vicious cycle goes on. To enact such global changes, every member of society has to look within and start taking responsibilities in our personal lives. Even though we cannot control the factors and situations around us, or even what people do, we can still control our mind. This involves controlling our thinking, the beliefs held by us, words spoken, actions taken, the images in our minds, our attitudes, and emotions. When these listed factors are controlled, we can achieve anything we want. You might be puzzled as to how this is so. This is the reason. Around our existence lies energy. From the mountains to buildings, in your streets, stars, oceans, right through the solar system, we can find energy. Also, around our existence 
such as our minds and bodies, we can find energy. We harness this energy such that our feeling at a point in time influences the result of our actions. Things seem to work out smoothly when you put on the air of confidence. The reverse happens when you are feeling down. This is positive and negative energy playing out respectively. Positive thoughts attract positive outcomes, while negative thoughts draw negative results to itself. This concept is widely known as the law of attraction. Similar things attract each other. Our mind is an agent of attraction. It is like a magnet attracting things to itself. Unlike the way a magnet will naturally function, attracting unlike poles, the mind works the other way around. It is responsible for all the things we experience in life. When your mind is not controlled by you, you feel victimized. You point fingers to other persons, playing the blame game. Persons who have their minds in their control know they have the power to do so and ensure they maintain the standard. Rather than neglecting their thoughts, actions, speech, beliefs, attitude, emotions, and images playing through their minds, they pay keen attention to them. They realize that the losing control of their mind for a little while might be catastrophic, resulting in harm, regardless of the scale. Negative thoughts should never be allowed. The silent voice in your head whispering negative ideas to you, making your heart pound anxiously, yielding more frightening scenes, vicious visions that just won't be erased. These unpleasant thoughts do not just scare, but they result in anxiety, destroying whatever happy feelings left behind. Negative feelings begin with a simple line of thought that expands into something overwhelming. It starts as a spark beside a gasoline tank, consuming everything around, spiraling out of control more often than not. It is a joy killer that should not be started in the first place, leading to all sorts of health issues eventually. Unfortunately, negative feelings cannot be stopped. Thanks to mind control, we can decide how long we allow them to last in our heads. Controlling your mind gives you an opportunity to decide what comes into your head and what stays out. Hence, negative energy can be mitigated. To ensure a stable life, you must take steps to control your mind. It provides us with an opportunity to filter our mental contents without causing more problems, including feelings of guilt, excessive weight loss or weight gain, and unproductivity. Controlling your mind gives you power. You will become your mind's master when you take steps to do so. Repeatedly doing things, even mental ones, make them stick to your subconscious mind. When you keep practicing mind control, it eventually becomes part of you. So, you need not worry if your efforts will last or fade away. When controlling your mind becomes part of you, your subconscious mind naturally wades of negative feelings by causing positive distractions. Inner peace is something else that you stand to get when you have control of your mind. Knowing that you would maintain your balance and strides in any situation builds confidence and inner peace. This leads to better sleep. Although you cannot stop disruptive dreams and nightmares, you can dismiss them and resume sleep without any hassle. Individuals who think positively rarely gets agitated and avoids conflicts. With a calmer feeling, disengaging from conflicts becomes easier as you maintain the right view towards the actions of others. The benefits of controlling your mind are never ending. You will certainly find purpose in life when you do so making better decisions, using your time productively, and sharing joy across to other people you come in contact with. You will emit positive energies in whatever setting you find yourself. As a matter of fact, these benefits are long-lasting and deep. It is one thing to benefit from controlling your mind. A major cause of concern is the means of attaining such control. What steps do you need to take complete charge of your mind? The next part provides 10 practical steps to help you control your mind.